Here's how you set up a PS5 controller on a PS5, no bullshit, won't disconnect. You're gonna need a Hori though. So you have to go ahead and get that. Take your PS5 controller and the first thing you're gonna do is turn it off. Okay, now you're gonna take your Cronus and you're gonna plug it in to the PS5 with the micro USB. Now, if it doesn't already auto connect, just select the user so that now you can control it here uh, with the Hori. Next thing you do, take your uh, USB-C and plug it into your controller. Your controller is still turned off. It's gonna flash white for a second. Now you can go ahead and turn it off, uh, unplug it, sorry, and go ahead and hit your option, your uh, share and your PS button until it goes into Bluetooth mode. It should blink blue. Now hit the left button on your Cronus once. Now it's connected. And now I can control the Cronus with the controller. And I can control the Cronus menu by hitting L2 and uh, options. And now I'm in the Cronus, the Cronus menu. I can shift out of here, hit circle to back out. It'll hit saved. And now I'm back into the game. And that's how you do it. The one caveat is that uh, your PS5, there, so you can see I'm still, uh, your PS5 cannot be turned on remotely with the PS button because your controller is actually Bluetooth connected to the Cronus here. So you're gonna have to press the button on the PS5, the front button there to turn this puppy on, and then uh, you, turn, you turn on your controller it'll sync to the blue, the Cronus and now you can control your game. Uh, you can still turn off the game, you know, with this, of course, but you can't turn the console on with the PS button. So just keep that in mind and you'll be good to go.